Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change the battery on this Eufy 11S robot vacuum cleaner. So you're gonna take it away from the dock, but the first thing you're gonna do is flip it over. There's a power switch. So flip it, it's normally in the on position, flip it to the off position. Now this is safe to work on. Up here's where the battery is located. It's got two number one Phillips screws. You're gonna loosen both those screws. Take the screws all the way out and this little cover is going to lift up, there's your battery. It's got pull tabs on it, so take these pull tabs, pull it straight up. You're gonna to have to disconnect this connector right here. Now the way you disconnect it is you gotta push down on that tab, that's what's locking it into place. They don't give you much room to get down there and get that tab, but push down on that tab down in there, and then this will come out. But again, you have to push down on that tab right there. So this is the battery that comes with the Shark when it's brand new. It's a lithium ion model number 41CR19-66, model PA05, 14.4 volts, 2600 milliamp hours. And then here's what the type of, of plug that it's going to need to plug in there. It's just using two wires, it's got two wires going to it. Now the battery measures approximately two and three quarters by about inch and a half, you know, by about, oh, an inch and three eighths right there. But to, let's insert the battery. You're gonna want the cord over here facing kind of this cord. Put it in nice and straight. There's pull tabs. Make sure the pull tabs are in. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this. Again, make sure it's turned off. There's a little tab right there. You're gonna make sure that tab's pointing towards the lock tab. It should slide in only one way because there's a little groove for that. Now this can be a little tricky. You're gonna to have to hold that while you slide that in. And you want it to click. Okay, it did click, now give it a little tug. That means it's inserted all the way. You wanna make sure that's inserted all the way. Now kind of hold it off to the side, insert the battery. There's a room for the connector and the wires. Make sure it's nice and flush. Now we're gonna simply take this. There's two little tabs, put those in, grab your screws. Put your screws in. Now don't force this. If something's not right, make sure you just kind of do it over. So some things that will tell you that it's time to change the batteries is obviously if it's not lasting as long and also if it doesn't completely charge. So say this light never turns like blue, it's always in that pulsing yellow, that could mean also it's a bad battery if it's never fully charging. I'll put a link to, the, to, to this in the show description notes. If you click down below the videos, you see the word see more, click on it. There'll be a link to Amazon for that battery. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a percentage of the sale. It is a way of helping my channel. Also, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps my channel. I have another video. I have a review on this. I also have the monthly maintenance. So once a month, I take mine apart. It's super simple, but you need a vacuum cleaner or a blower to kind of clean some filters. So there is a video on that also. I appreciate everybody's support, and again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.